Uh, Scott Gladstone here with head coach Dan Banky after the 3-0 sweep over Northwest Nazarene. Uh, just while we were getting ready, you kind of stole my first question, but asking about the history. It feels like every time you're up here, we talk about the history. It's only the second ever win versus Northwest Nazarene in the D2 era, the first ever sweep. What can you just say about continuing to kind of forge ahead? And also, this is now the winningest team officially in uh, team history. Yeah, I mean, it feels great. I, I mean, we, we don't talk about those things, and we just focus one point at a time, one set at a time. And I think they're just they're mentally tough. They're aware of some of the history. They just want to play volleyball, right? And that's probably the most important part, Is and they want to play good volleyball. And, um, you know, when we, you know, have a, have a play that doesn't go our way we're able to reset and be able to regroup which i think is huge um so i this group is unique in that they just they have a short memory when it comes to mistakes and they just go about it doesn't mean that we can't get down it just means that you know we've done a lot better this year in previous years uh we have a pretty mature group even if we're not as old so um yeah. It's hard to kind of coach the start that you had. Mm -hmm. But if you had to say something about what was it that made this that first set so dominating, mm -hmm. I mean, I think you guys hit 571 in that 517 mm -hmm. in that first set. That's yeah. an incredible number yeah. against anybody. I mean, if yeah. you're playing a, a D3 or a Juco, that's a really good number. Right, right. Um, but you're up against Northwest Nazarene, who's right neck and neck They're with you solid. in the GNAC yeah. standing, and they swept you at, in Nampa. Yeah. Why, why was that start just so explosive? What, what did the team uh, I do? I think we just we were lower air in that first set. A lot of times we just we love coming out aggressive with our serving. There's no surprise to that. We love serving tough, um, and we were able to you know serve tough while keeping balls in, and it put a lot of pressure on NNU. Um, and a lot of balls did go to, in our our way, whether it's hit into the block, but it was tooled. You know, sometimes those blocks actually come back for points for the opponent. So um, it's nothing magical specifically that we did. We were just lower air, um, and we took advantage of it. Um, I'm going to ask a, a different question about each of the two players that we have lined up here to interview after you. But first, let's start off with uh, Serena Pareto as a freshman coming in. The one thing that I, I talk about constantly is her vision. And yeah. it's something that I can't even kind of fathom. You're you're keying in on the ball, but that peripheral vision of yeah. seeing where on the floor to hit. I know in that third set there was one where she just kind of popped it over right in front of her, right. and then maybe the next time she got a crack, she went down the net right. on right. the other side and found a hole in the defense. Yeah. So, like, <laughs> what can you say? I mean, that's another thing. Like, can, yeah. can, how, how much have you coached that? How much does she just have those instincts? No, I mean, a lot of it's, you know, instincts. Uh, a lot of it is, is preparation on her part. It's preparation before she got here. It's preparation that we're doing now. Uh, we work on shots. We work on, um, you know, consistency with those shots. Um, but it's very tough to teach vision. Uh, we try to work with different blocking apparatuses like swimming noodles and things like that to try to be able to see things in front of you while you're looking at a ball and use that peripheral vision. Um, but, you know, she's the one doing it. So, um, you know, she's, she's doing a great job of it. Uh, and now I'll talk about Abby Helstead, your libero. Mm -hmm. I talk about anywhere on the back line, but especially libero. I made a comparison when I was broadcasting last game that it's kind of like being the offensive line where yeah. you don't get a lot of credit. Um, yeah. You don't get the flashy kills. Um, you don't get a, you don't get a, have all the fun that's had up right. near the net, right? You're mostly just back there diving on the right. floor um, and, and eating up shots and making your teammates look good. Yeah. Um, having a libero that's, that's as reliable as Abby and, and as consistent um, and able to come back and just – just put in yeah. the reps back there. Yeah. How valuable is that for this it's, team? She's and, very valuable. Yeah. It, she's just very steady. Um, there's not a lot that really cracks her. Um, and what you see from her is n you don't see any super highs or lows. And that's what you that's what we're looking for from her every day. And she's a she's a junior captain. And so there's roles there that um, everyone has different leadership abilities, techniques. And so she will use some things in timeouts and really encourages our group and so i think her timing is just spot on when she when she does speak up so um but she's in that role for a reason so awesome yeah. congrats coach congrats thank you on keeping to make history appreciate you we'll hand off the headset now here to your student athletes we'll start start it off with serena pareto here uh first of all congrats on the win thank you um, thank you 
second of all, just coming in as a freshman, uh, and it's something that I've talked a lot about with your coach and, and your teammates, but you guys have such a talented new class upcoming. What has helped you the most to kind of adjust to the, to the uptick in the difficulty of college volleyball? I think the competitiveness we all bring to the table. It's definitely competitive every single practice. You know, we work hard. Um, we're putting in the work on and off the court. We have such good chemistry. And just coming in as a freshman, the girls were so welcoming. So it was so easy to just bond and create that chemistry with, within one another. Um, when, when you came in, it was probably at some point, either, either during the recruiting process or when you showed up on campus, that you were going to be a factor in this team um, to be able to kind of do what you've done and continue to just – add to the team that is now statistically speaking already the the best team in, in program history how much does that mean to you just to do as a freshman that means so much I didn't expect to uh, play front row I was just thinking that I was going to be in the back row being the height that I am but um, definitely it's been like a huge honor and a, such a blessing like just playing front row and back row and just bringing what I like all I've worked for to the team um, this is a team that's built from members all over the country there's even representation from hawaii um, and we're about to talk to abby halstead who's from texas for you being from just up the road in tacoma and you have a large like supporting group here a lot of people behind you how go how great is that for you to play kind of in your ba backyard and have uh, kind of your support group nearby it's so nice um but not only here like in the state of washington i have so much family in guam and um, Arizona it's so nice that everybody has just been supportive and watching the lives giving me like lots of s support on social media uh, it's been so much it's just been so overwhelming like with love and it's so nice to like experience that especially as a freshman awesome well yeah. congrats on the win thank you so much we'll head over to uh, Abby here Hey. Abby, how's it going? It's good. How are we feeling? I feel great. Um, yeah. It, well, the nice thing about about your position especially, keeping it to three sets is fun in one respect, but also I'm sure you have, like, a lot less bruises and kind of oh. the body feels a, a lot better playing yeah. three rather than five. It, it, it feels so much better. Um, what can you say just about – I mean – I blinked in that first set, and the scoreboard, you guys were up by 10 or 15 or whatever it was. You ended up winning by 13 in that first set. Mm -hmm. um, and a big part of it was your offense hitting real well, but also you guys held them to right around a, a, a zero, uh, a point zero zero percent attack percentage. What can you say about kind of the back line effort to uh, start it off with such a dominating first set? I mean, we had talked about this after our um, loss to Central on Thursday. We came out a little bit slow, but we powered through in that third and fourth set. And we just talked about uh, yesterday at practice on Friday um, about starting strong, starting at our, our peak performance. And so just making sure that, you know, not only the hitters, but us, especially when serve receive and in defense, um, just coming out with that fire and, and being supportive of them and just – because, I mean, it all starts with us on the back line. So, it, it really – we have to come out strong especially. So, yeah. Um, we were talking a little bit – or you were talking a little bit with your coach kind of about the marks that you guys, you, you guys have set this year. Um, and for you especially, you've seen this team make a big step every single year. What has that been like for you uh, to, to continually see it get stronger and stronger? That has to be a great feeling. It has just been – so awesome and it's just I am so I'm so grateful because we have you know coming in my freshman year two years ago we you know we struggled we weren't great we were at the bottom of the GNAC um, but you know Dan Dan told us he was like this is a, this is my goal this is where I want us to be and that's a program that I wanted to be a part of and so just to see us elevate our game and you know even this year we're breaking records it is just it's so exciting with all the time that we've been putting in. Uh, and finally, I was just talking with Serena, who is, of course, is from just playing in her backyard. So she gets to see a lot of kind of her family and friends, mm -hmm. um, you know, much more often than you probably do yeah. uh, coming across the country. Is there anything to your friends and family back home, your support group that you'd like to say for anybody that might still be hanging on and watching the stream? Oh, thank you guys so much. Thank you for all the post-game texts, win or loss. Thank you to my friends, my family especially. I have so many of you guys over on the East Coast that watch me, and it just means the absolute world to me. So thank you guys. 
Well, congrats, Abby. Thank you. Another milestone victory, and uh, good luck on the road. Thank you. Thank you.